you don't want to make the same mistakes that Chandr K. Chandrasekhar Rao made in Telangana, where he didn't change sufficient number of sitting MLAs. It's interesting how you're, you're sort of putting it, but you said your main rivals are the regional parties, the Chandra Babu Naidu and the Janasena, which leaves open the question the national parties. We saw Mr. Naidu at the Ram Mandir, uh, uh, Pran Pratishta ceremony. Uh, he seems to want to go close to the BJP. You seem to have given issue-based support to the BJP in Parliament on various issues. How do we read this? Is every Andhra party wooing the BJP and Prime Minister Modi? So we've always maintained our line, Rajdeep. So it's very important that the state maintains a cordial relationship with the central government. It's very important that it is, very, it, it is required for the development of the state. So we've already we've, we've maintained that line. And while maintaining so, we've ensured that every subject is thoroughly looked into, thoroughly looked into and issue-based support is extended. Issue-based support. So if even after the 20, uh, 24 elections, if you win, you would provide issue-based support to whoever comes to power at the center, or specifically the BJP? Let's revisit this topic when, it, when it's the, when it's the uh, right time. But issue-based support for now, right? Absolutely. For now, issue-based support, uh, which leaves the Congress party. Because that also is, you know, Andhra is making headlines again because guess what? The Congress party has chosen to make your sister. Why is Sharmila their party chief? I know this is difficult, but is it that the legacy of why, uh, why is Rajshekar Reddy is now going to be split within the family? How do you respond that you may well have to go into this election with your sister on the other side? Congress is basically playing dirty, Rajdeep. Congress has got this tradition of playing dirty as far as state politics are concerned, in our states more specifically. They have divided the state for their own political gains. Unjustly divided the state, more so. Divide and rule. Be it the state, divide and rule, be it our family. Even when I had gone against the Congress party, they had pitted uh, my own uncle. Uh, they, had made him, uh, an, uh, they had made him a minister and uh, they had uh, forced him uh, to contest against me when I had uh, uh, broken away from Congress party, when I had resigned from the Congress party in those days and uh, contested on our own party. Uh, the Congress always does this. They divide and rule. Unfortunately, now, once again, they have not learned their lessons. Uh, so, once again, they have divided my family, brought in my sister to actually uh, lead their party. But unfortunately, what they do not understand is Ultimately, there is a greater power than the Congress party or any of the parties here. There's a God there. And ultimately, God would ensure that these people are taught a lesson properly. Are you angry, bitter? Because, you know, when I look at it, your father, late father, was the one who helped the Congress form a government in 2004. There would have been no UPA government without Vice Raj Shekhar Reddy. Both in 2004 and certainly, to, certainly in 2004 to some extent 2009. Are you angry, bitter, or it's part of life? There were days, Rajdeep, when you know, that bitterness was there. But you know, as we moved on, you know, ultimately it is God who, dis it's God who I strongly believe in that. that you know, Ultimately, eventually, God is watching. So whatever they've done, they probably would have reaped by now, going, uh, seeing what uh, the plight of Congress party today is, or probably going forward, it might even get worse, worse off. 
It's only God who can decide. You know, it's interesting we are referring to God while we are here in Tirupati. Uh, so let me end by, in a way, reflecting back from the Jagan Mohan Reddy that I first met about 15, 16 years ago when you first became a member of parliament. You've gone through all the ups and downs. What's the biggest change from the Jagan Mohan Reddy that I met 15, 16 years ago as a young man entering politics to Jagan Mohan Reddy now a chief minister for five years who's willing to go to the people on his track record, as you've told me in this interview. What's the biggest change that we've seen in you? Change seen in me? I'm not sure, Rajdeep. I think you're a better judge, probably. You would be, uh, you'd be a better judge, probably, to tell me the change. Well, one change I've seen, you're more, more cautious, careful, and you're also focusing almost entirely on governance more than politics. I want to tell this audience, when we were coming here, there was a young girl who came up to Jagan Mohan Reddy and said, thank you, and put out the tablet that she had received on your birthday and said, I've got this because of you. Is that what gives you a sense of satisfaction at the end of these five years? That if there are hundreds and thousands of that little girl out there who've got tablets, who perhaps have this opportunity for a quality education that you're promising them, that's what will give you the greatest satisfaction. Absolutely, Rajdeep. These 56 months, I'd say Rajdeep, have been those months where I can say to myself that I've done my bit. And uh, no regrets. I've ensured that I've touched so many crores of people. And I have, uh, that's what, what gives me the satisfaction that even if I were to step down today, I have absolutely no regrets. I'm more than happy. And you're going to the, and significantly here is the chief minister who says, I'm going to the people of Andhra Pradesh in 2024 asking for votes on my record, right? Which the opposition is saying, we're ready to challenge you. You're saying, bring it on. Absolutely, Rajiv. In fact, all of my speeches uh, in public meetings these days, I've been just telling one thing. If you have benefited from our governments, our governance, only then stand with me.